breakthrough in South Africa's health sector as the first nuclear medical facility has been launched. Minister of Higher Education Dr. Bladen Zamande unveiled the facility, which uses isotopes for radiation therapy. For more on this groundbreaking facility, I am joined by Professor Jan Rain Siafat. Professor Siafat, thank you so much for joining us on News at Prime. Exciting news. I think a lot of South Africans need this right now. Tell us more about this world-class nuclear medicine research facility that was unveiled this week. Um, good afternoon, uh, good evening, and uh, thanks for having me. Uh, yes, uh, so the facility is, is called Numerai, um, Nuclear Medicine Research Infrastructure. Um, it's a facility that combines preclinical, clinical, and um, radiopharmacy all together in one. It's a, therefore a one-stop shop um, translating molecules from the laboratory bench up to the patient bedside. So we're very excited about that. And um, as you indicated, we've just um, opened our doors. So Prof, for those who aren't um, scientific geeks like myself, and I'm guessing some who may be watching this program right now, if you could just explain to us, how will this assist South Africans in layman's terms? Yeah, so uh, let's start with, uh, with, with two things, um, radiopharmaceuticals. So that's a pharmaceutical that um, has uses radioactivity to either provide the, a diagnostic effect or a therapeutic effect. So first we do diagnosis and then we can see what we treat and we treat what we see. And then that, that, that treatment and diagnosis is called, the discipline is called nuclear medicine. So it's a special branch of, of, of medicine. Um, now, um, what is important uh, with this is that uh, in, in South Africa, um, we have a lot of drug risk coverers, um, and, but we don't translate our molecules into new pharmaceuticals for, for patient benefit. And this is what this uh, in, uh, infrastructure tries to do. We want to be able to um, investigate our own drugs, um, make sure that they then reach patients for novel and new treatments in, in oncology, so that's cancer, but also um, for other diseases like tuberculosis and malaria. So will it also help, because I heard you mention also diagnosis, will it also help in those um, diseases as well? Yes, absolutely. That, that's the cornerstone of nuclear medicine. It's a very accurate diagnostic, um, diagnostic tool. And because it's so good with um, diagnosis, it can then be followed up with the treatment using a, a different kind of radiation. You make mention also of the benefits of these molecules too, but also let's talk about the benefits of nuclear in medicine. Yeah, so, so um, it is a little bit counterintuitive. Uh, nuclear is, is normally uh, associated with nuclear power, mm. but um, in our, this case, we harness the effect of radiation for one, the imaging, so these gamma rays that are um, uh, coming from the body detected on a camera and gives you a video of how the, a molecule is transporting through the body and how it's metabolized and gives you a picture of whether there is some abnormalities. Um, and then secondly, as has indicated, what makes it even more powerful is now, now that you know exactly what's wrong with the patient, we can follow up the same molecule, but then use an, another isotope, another sort of radio new, um, uh, atom that's emitting radiation, but in this case it would be emitting a therapeutic dose. So we can then localize that dose specifically on the cancer uh, and then um, we can uh, destroy it. So for cancer patients, tuberculosis patients um, and other diseases as well, this is really a game changer. How will this aff affect um, those people's lives? Yeah, so we're already running um, clinical trials here. In, there's a several prostate cancer trials that have been um, that are ongoing, and I think Professor Teche here has been in the news for for many of of these groundbreaking world new um, treatments. So, so patients that um, have prostate cancer join these clinical trials, and I have to stress this is all um, at, at the highest ethical and um, pharmaceutical standards. Mm. Um, and then they join these trials and they have uh, remarkable outcomes. Um, patients that um, are, are very short to live, their lives, are, they get an extra one or two years added to it. Um, we, at this point, those patients, we talk about stage four patients, um, cancer patients, but 
um, as we progressing through the clinical trials, this will become more and more available to, um, to lower stage patients as well. And I mean, speaking of stage four patients as well, cancer patients as well, that's, I mean, right at the end. Um, so when you say you're also able to add another year or two to life um, through these technologies as well, that's quite, um, you know, encouraging to hear, not only for the patients, but I'm sure for the family members too. Absolutely. So, um, so this is this is very really gratifying to to engage with with patients, um, and their and their loved ones. Um, they they really appreciate the work that is done here, and 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 this is what sort of makes one tick, um, mm. and and uh, enjoy what you're trying to do here. It must be really fulfilling as well, Prof, you know, when you are yes. able to effect that kind of change as well. The facility um, which you are talking to us live from, which is in Pretoria, the facility has been described as a one-stop shop. What else is on offer? Yeah, so um, so what, what, is, what is the one-stop shop? It means that we have anything from trans basic and translational research, and um, then we, this feeds into um, to animal testing of of, of new drugs, um, and then we make these things uh, on to the highest pharmaceutical standards before they get tested in humans, and then ultimately the, the result is that a new radio pharmaceutical is developed, which can be used in the nuclear medicine um, practices all over the country. So new, nuclear medicine um, is, a, is a practice that's been around for many, many years, for 50 years plus, but um, it's now really excelling and this research infrastructure will excel it even further uh, on the back of our proud history in this country with the production of isotopes. For instance, at Nexa, um, the, we have the Safari Research Reactor, which one of, is one of the four leading isotopes producers in the world. So all these things come now are coming together for the benefit of the patient. What does this mean for South Africa in terms of um, just the medical field as well? Um, this nuclear medicine facility, it's a first of its kind, not only in South Africa, but for the continent. Now, with everything yeah. that's happening in the health sector, what difference will this facility make? So, um, as I indicated, sometimes we have patients traveling overseas to join um, novel new treatments when all other treatments fail. And this is the, the this will this void will be filled by the, this facility. Just to also indicate, this facility is is built um, on the premises of the Steve Big Academic Hospital because we need to partner with an academic hospital and as well as a, a, a health faculty, which is in this particular case the University of Pretoria. So together with these partners, um, as well as Nexa, which provides other isotopes, we um, are then capable of providing these very novel um, treatments which are, have not been seen before in the country. And what does this mean for Brand South Africa? I mean, you're also mentioning that people are coming from further afield um, to just also experience some of our groundbreaking, um, this facility as well. Um, what does it mean for the medical profession for South Africa in, to, in, in, yeah. in the world? Yeah, so um, as I indicated, this, this Four of these facilities in the world, um, and this is the only one on the African continent. So, we definitely foresee that we'll have a lot of visitors and patients also coming from the African um, continent. But um, I, I, one is to note that the, the main aim here is research into new uh, pharmaceuticals. So, we do expect a lot of African fellows also to join us as clinicians, as pharmacists, and bringing their their ideas together here. Um, to accelerate um, you know, health solutions for the, the benefit of the patient. And health solutions indeed we do need. Thank you, Prof, so much for joining us this evening and sharing your insights with us. That was Professor Jan Rein Siafat.